We're gonna have the Grand Skyfall come in, I don't know when. The Requiem timing is also gonna be a bit of a game here. Spirit's gonna have to time it against Skiria. Let's see if they actually get in there. Dean, he's just straight up in the back. Requiem gonna come out first. It looks like that Tark ultimate was way late. As they take the damage, Zord ultimate, he's gonna knock up a couple, but they're all zoned away for now. And Ocean will go the way of Afrika. And funny the way that one wins. Area, he's gotta be quicker on that button if he wants to make this Tarik work. Now, Afrika, they're going to turn their attention into mid lane. And Ooh. holy moly. He's waiting for that E to go down and down a will, but oh, this yeah. gets nuked underneath the turret. You can really see that happen as Zoe just disappears. Welcome to Zoe. Zoe, I think he's got a better chance to 1v9 on Zoe this time oh. around. And Chovy is going to be a pretty core piece. Yet again, level 13 completed for Doron. As we take a look at this, Keen shows himself really early. Requiem came out, and the card ult is way too late. Everyone losing the HP. And Doron with, uh, I don't even know what to really call that. The one man sword card. That yeah. Out. <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, uh well, using his sword, you know, to attack the enemy. Yeah, I mean, everyone thinks that it's a hammer, but... Yeah, no. He does mix it up. It's very sharp. See what again here exactly there? what happens. As he kind of just blows them up. Them up. <laughs> Not even really jellies and beefs that get Yeah, that, that, that was done. a very surprising kill as... Well, that's one for the record books. That's the... Uh, there were multiple crits in uh, in that one. That's another photo. Another photo to add to the <laughs> yeah. to the, the, to wall, the book. The uh the yeah the wall of shame. Yeah. Another Morel and Amicon built up here. Did you know that Tarek has a heal? He does. <laughs> He does, he does have a heal. Thank you for that. And he has summoner heal. Ah, yes. As does Toby. Oh. And Dorian can switch to summoner heal. He has on still spell book. I too like to prevent 500 healing rather than deal 2,000 damage. Thank you. Yeah, me too. I oh, am. Yeah. As does, uh, as does Spirit. So I'm glad we're all on the same page. Fly in a bit of trouble. Has to flash that one. But there were four members that were up in the top lane. And so if we can say, if you want to trade two lanes for one, sure, let's go ahead. We'd be happy to handshake that one. But they're looking for more. They're not backing off here just yet. They're going for the inhibitor. Just be able to they're going to get it. Yeah, they're going to get the inhibitor turret. Keen down and bottom. Could we just have this devolve into a base race? We can have to back eventually if Dragon Max continues. He's not actually going to push on anymore, and so top inhibitor going down is actually probably good for Afrika. We've talked about this many times before on the broadcast. The reason that top inhibitor is so good here is it's the inhibitor that is in closest proximity to the Baron, which is the major neutral objective. And so now Dragon X, every minute that passes, 400 gold is just going to go into the void. And Afrika, they're going to be able to utilize that top lane to funnel gold and XP into whatever champion they want to allocate it to. Because Dragon X does not have the ability to just magically dive mid tier 2 or bot tier 2. Nor can they, at this point in time, just randomly start up the Baron without Afrika being able to respond. Well, there's my boy Ocean Drake that might be hard <laughs> for Afrika to, to get to. But that, that is the only thing. And there's there's a thing that a lot of pro players have been doing where you're talking about the, the super minions pushing it. What they do instead is they just push out the wave anyway. They don't let the super minions kill anything. As we're just going for Baron here. TP coming in, but Keen is zoned out, has to dash the wall. Once again, oh, looks like that ultimate this. is late as MF will pick up the dragon, but Funnel tier into the middle. Big bullet time though. Nothing able to stop that from doing huge damage. And Spirit was nowhere to be found in this fight. 
And now he's just going for it. Um, he says, witness me. I would like to be noticed. As, yes, he was noticed, but not in a good way. Unfortunate there. As now they might just look to push down the top lane. I don't know if they can end. It's still pretty early on in the game. We got... No, this is an end. 15 seconds on Pantheon. I love the uh, the super caster first. That is what just happened here. <laughs> not only did they just do the Baron, get it, and then the positioning of Afrika, this thing getting completely deleted, but also the entire build-up to it. We're going to see a replay of it That's most it. likely at the end of this. GG. Right what next. Next. However, you guys managed to turn it around with the massive damage coming out of you. The carrier was really aggressive at the point. So, actually, there was no way for me to use my ult, but, well, Keria found the sync with his ult, so I just used it over her. So it's just trying to get on end of a right, will go down and now Haru. That's the front line here, and they are just kiting him down and one by one. He's Oom, and, and so Teleport coming in from Mordecai is missing in the game. Sun was good, Superplex in the back, Sun is going ham, but he is going to go down, Fixo will survive. And now Leo burning down, there it is, the poison in the Leandre, see you later. And so this was a very disjointed team fight. But the sustain of Hanwha Life throughout the team fights and their ability to constantly keep repositioning is also really good. The scaling of the Casio and the Affilios is nothing to joke about. As also just the dynamization on the side of the sandbox. A little, you know, leave a little bit to be desired. Teleport, you can see coming in from Fade, really good knockout by Haru. But Hens trying to go in there as well. Cast was being cast on him. Yubei making it out because Neo 
too slow on the DLP, and that comes back to bite them. And Summit goes in there for the stun, but Vista, a lot of doing a lot of things. Summit trying his best inside of this fight. Thomas Kench gets turned into, uh, well, I mean, turned into something. And Summit manages to turn this around the best that he can. Superplex the hour. So, you know, I mean, Tukrovsky really, really just took a spin. I haven't watched that show. That's Are you <laughs> really? Yeah, not really. That's, uh, that's not one that I, uh, not yet. Maybe in the future. They're trying to push here, but they don't really, they don't have everybody. So they're trying to do one three one, but they're taking a little while for the lanes to push in. So you'll see the strength of the push happen when they get pulled apart a bit. There's only 45 seconds-ish left on Baron Buff. Yeah. And, and, and don't get, don't mistake the state of the game. Unlike can still very easily win this. All things considered. Dang. Yeah, I, I, I heard someone comment, because when, when you're playing with it, the ticks will appear very small. It'll say like 11, 11, 11, 11. Yeah. And they're like, oh, it's not doing anything. And it's like, so many times. Yeah, what, like, can you multiply? <laughs> <laughs> you finish elementary one. Oh, yeah. No, no, you just add all the elements. I need a calculator for that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to multiply. What are you talking about? Isn't that a thing that Karibo does? Uh, what? Who? What? I. <laughs> now that's just. Karibo. What are you talking about? Just leave. <laughs> oh, my God. I've seen Atlas sit behind, behind me, and every time you make a reference, you he'll, he'll just whisper in my ear, you'd be like, oh, that, that's the guy from the Avatar. <laughs> I'll be like, oh, oh yeah, the guy from the Avatar. All right. Well, we do have this mountain drink coming up in two minutes, and the game, oh, there's, now that there's not much going on, they're saying, hey, because already with the miasma, it's going to be hard enough for the set to reposition. Lock of the time, uh, Iron Flurry, by the way, on Haru. And I think Void Sap is coming in for the Mordekaiser. Yeah. Next. So that'll be very surprising to see what kind of damage he's gonna end up doing once he has that completed. Not quite sure how far away he is from it. Oh, oh um, okay. Actually, it wasn't a, it was not a, uh, it was not a Void Sap. Rylice. Rylice. But there's already so much slows in immobilizing effects that he's already getting the benefit from the Leandre's second part. So I think the, like again, this is one of those, those math things where Void Sap would just do so much more. So a little bit surprising to see him end up picking up that item. You know what you gotta do? You gotta make a show where it's like no less by the numbers. Well, Shocker has just like, made a fantastic show, or a uh, fantastic YouTube video. I, I told you about it earlier. Yeah, yeah. Break, well, just, you, you break down the actual map behind it. You're like, look, in this scenario, at level 15, you like get to practice school, and you get these you know, champs out, and you practice it, and you're like, hey, look, at the extra damage. Okay, a lot of yos. Switching about your, your damage. All right, now then. 15 seconds of getting heights. Here we go. Oh, here we go. Oh, this guy doesn't have flash, remember? Already, and he's trying to chip damage. Yeah. It, I mean, he's still burning down right now. Yeah. Ooh, I just gotta be careful. That rise is big. This choke point is so scary. Yeah. And they're realizing it now. They say we oh. cannot funnel in there. Why? Oh, they just started. Oh, it's really on a nice set here on Fleek as Haru goes in, actually, and Suplex in the back on Haru. Three people gives him the perfect one, but take a look at this up, trying to do that damage. Not quite having enough to take out Gorilla, but some incredibly low, but not enough. And Lion goes in, but take a look at this up. He's going on three, four. He's going to have that engaged from his teammates. And it looks like he's going to create enough room. For the rest of them, they only the only one girl get away. Oh, I'm yeah. he's down here. Takes it out. You still have the jungler. And so, Cassio and Vista, they can do this. This is scary. Oh, boy. Oh, Abilios. 
Okay. Okay. Created well, a room. And honestly, that might be all she wrote as the mountain soul is doing so 